Hello my sugar binga bungas, welcome back to my channel. Now a lot of people have been hitting me up and asking me, Zanayantle, what do I need to do to be able to come and teach English in China? What are the requirements? Where do I go? Who do I turn to? Well, I'm here to tell you that you've got the right one. You've come to the right place. You've come to the right channel. I will be giving you a full and detailed breakdown of exactly what it is you need, what exactly you need to do, and where exactly you need to go if you want to come and live your best life in China while making that point. Scratch that while stacking that paper. So listen very, very carefully. Requirement number one. You have to be from a native English speaking country. For example, you have to be from South Africa, the UK, America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, etc, etc. Furthermore, you need to be able to speak English fluently. This is important. You may be from a native English speaking country, but you may not be able to articulate yourself in English. So I have to mention this. Number two, you need to have a bachelor's degree. I repeat, you need to have a bachelor's degree, not a diploma, not a college certificate. They do not make the cut unfortunately as respectable and as prestigious as they are as qualifications unfortunately you need to have a bachelor's degree i am emphasizing this because if anybody tells you come to china with anything other than a bachelor's degree please understand that you are being scammed I'm trying to find all these people who constantly say a degree is merely a piece of paper. If a degree is merely a piece of paper, why don't you print one for yourself, darling? If a degree is just a piece of paper, then print it out yourself and come to China and let's see what happens, darling. Why don't you print it out yourself and go anywhere in the world and say, boom, here's my degree. Here's this piece of paper that you think is so important. Let's go. Let's get it and see what happens to you. Stop projecting your bitterness, your misery, your unhappiness, your dissatisfaction with your life onto other people who have worked so hard to acquire their qualifications. Diplomas and certificates included because they too are very, very prestigious qualifications. Stop mocking and diminishing the hard work as well as the achievements of others. Yeah, Angali, not everybody is meant to have a degree, a diploma or a college certificate. If that's not your route or the route that you want to take, then you shouldn't be bitter about it. You wouldn't feel the need to belittle other people for having it. You wouldn't feel the need to be bitter and angry towards people who have those qualifications. Clearly, it shows just how unhappy you are. No happy person ever projects anger and bitterness and misery and just hatred towards people who have something that they don't have. And yes, you may be intelligent, successful, great, mighty, and excellent without a college or university qualification. Perfect. We commend that. We want that for you. We love that for you but the minute you start being bothered by somebody else's life path or somebody else's qualification then you have a problem there is something that is hurting you inside you are not as fulfilled as you're trying to make it seem and some people people like myself can see right through that you guys tend to forget that you can have anything you want you can literally Go to college, go to university, get your qualification, or you may take a completely different route and be a business person, an entrepreneur, anything that you want to be, or you could even do both. You can do whatever it is you want to do so long as you are successful in your path, so long as you are answering your calling, so long as you are 
fulfilling your purpose and so long as you are happy the minute you start bad mouthing another person's qualification life path whatever it is that doesn't even concern you it just goes to show how unhappy you are with your own life and i had to mention this and call you out on this because it is bad behavior it is foul behavior what kind of good sis would i be if i just let you be a miserable evil person whenever umona uvuka zikuze i always say this and i could never ever stress it enough jealousy is natural envy is natural you are human but don't let it taint your heart don't let it take over don't let it overpower you to the point where it takes over and it makes you an ugly person who's constantly angry aggressive belittling other people diminishing their achievements their hard work their careers siagbona stule siabuga uzenza happy when you're not no happy person would ever do that to another person never moving on to requirement number three you need to have taught for at least two years meaning you need to have at least two years worth of teaching experience oh but i don't have any teaching experience worry not fear not i got you there is an alternative it's called the t e f l certificate which basically stands for teaching english as a foreign language certificate you can get it online i will provide a link remember to take the 120 hour course or even more but nothing less than 120 hours boys and girls ladies and gentlemen requirement number four is your police clearance this is a document that you will get from the police station that clearly shows that you have a clear criminal record meaning no offenses no charges no pending cases you've never been arrested etc etc then requirement number five would be your full medical examination report the name says it all you have to be fully examined from head to toe left to right inside out you cannot fake this you cannot forge this because you will be examined again once you get to china so please make sure you go to a legit hospital a legit doctor we've seen a lot of people going the other route coming here getting tested and being chucked out i would never want that to happen to you and last but certainly not least you need your passport so what's next you now need to certify verify and authenticate some of your documents you first need to certify a copy of your degree you will then take it to saqa which stands for south african qualifications authority there you will get your degree verification letter you will then proceed to the high court to verify your tefl certificate you may also get an attorney to do that for you you will then take your certified bachelor's degree copy together with its verification letter as well as your verified tefl certificate and your police clearance to derco which stands for the department of international relations and cooperation once you get all these documents back you will take them to the chinese embassy so they can get authenticated i know it seems like such a lengthy process but worry not guys there is always an alternative there are countless reliable agents who are available to get all of this done for you while you relax at home or while you study or while you are hard at work but remember 
nothing for mahala you have to pay them and their fees vary so choose wisely i now have everything i need but how do i find a job aha as a current or former university student your university ought to make you aware of employment opportunities and job vacancies it is your duty to check your student portal as well as your emails regularly universities highly recommend this teaching job so trust me you will get emails or messages pertaining to this you may also find mwah, amazing jobs on reliable websites such as glass door as well as serious teachers you may know somebody who's already in china so make it a point to ask them for reliable wechat contacts because it's highly unlikely for somebody who you know love and trust to lead you astray so make sure it's somebody that you really really trust ninga so make you guys make sure they are a reliable and trust worthy source with a beautiful heart because not everyone wants you to win. We all know how challenging it can be to find a great job, so don't make it the next person's responsibility to find a suitable job for you. You know yourself. You know what you want, you know what you can't stand. So make it a point to do your own research. Make it a point to get everything you need to get done. done don't just think because i know uzanenta and she's already in china and she's flourishing showcase if i reach out to her i'll get a job manje manje nami ngibe mnandi but you haven't done what you need to do to be able to get the job you don't even have all the requirements what like what is that what is that and i've helped a lot of people get here as well as to other parts of the world but that wouldn't have happened if they didn't have the drive to make it happen you are your own responsibility your life is in your hands stop saying ugu tabanda bafunu unsiza meanwhile and funu we siza nina self having connections can only help you so much you need to put in the work and even serious guys a person will reach out to you and ask you for information and ask you for help with this that and the third you provide that help and then you tell them make sure you get this that and the third in order so that you can get to destination z and then they ghost you and then they bad mouth you on some so and so didn't want to help me so and so didn't want me to fulfill my dreams so and so didn't want me to live my best life just like they are living their best lives meanwhile you didn't do what you needed to do But so about serious, wait. Nobody's ever going to take you seriously if you don't take yourself seriously. With that said, you now have all the information as well as the resources that you need to fulfill your dreams. Show me how serious you are, but most importantly, show yourself how serious you are. Love and light. Wa fusek. Shwa slamoz.